YouTube, what's going on? Derek Dimes, Ghost Picks A. TS, smash that subscribe button down below, go up top, turn notifications on, guys, winners are all very transparent. Um, coming off a rough day on Monday, we had a much better day here Tuesday, um, we're going to recap our day, get your free play, send you on your way, there are five of us here on the Ghost Picks team in total, including myself, click the description down below, follow my other four brothers, and take advantage of the free content they're going to give you guys every single day as well, yesterday was two for Tuesday, today's Bob Wednesday, 15 bucks, any count for your choice, full card, um, everything that we have to offer for 15 bucks, um, a nice way to see what we're about just for a single day. Um, so yesterday, if you were on two for Tuesday, you got a nice winner there as we had Northern Iowa plus the nine against Colorado. Um, a seasoned team with a lot of experience um, went up against a Colorado team who is very good, I think more talented, but a little loose with the ball, a lot more reckless um, and inconsistent there, uh, not very efficient shooting the ball either. Um, so that was a nice win. We had Northern Iowa plus the nine was a nice winner outright there. Um, so if you're on two, two for Tuesday, you got, got a nice top tier winner, a five unit top tier play there. We also had a push in the NBA. We had the um, Philadelphia 76ers minus the five. Um, and they, they're they very frustrating because they, they were leading that game most of the way um, and were up by seven to nine points with like two to three minutes to go. And they just lacked that closer. I mean, it's it's they, I don't know if they got to drop some plays or, 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 or what's got to go on, but it seems that they're lacking. Um, the go-to guy uh, to finish these games off. But they ended up pushing there in that one. I'll take a push better than a loss. It is annoying, but much better than a loss. Um, and then we did have one loss, which was the free play. It was an absolute rout. Um, probably the worst free play I've had this year. Um, absolutely, e easily the worst free play we've given out. Um, Nevada looked completely terrible against the BYU team. Either one of these teams shot the ball well at all in the first half, um, less than 30%. Um, and Nevada just look stagnant. They just kind of were standing around, not really running much offense. It was very, very poor outing for them um, and not what I expected whatsoever there in that one with a team that has uh, shooting over 10 three, made three-pointers in the game um, overall. But they shot, I believe, like 26, 25% for the game overall um, against a team whose defense really isn't that overly impressive in BYU. Neither one of those teams have impressive defense, but just two short, uh, poor shooting outings in that one um, as we ended up dropping that. So 1-1-1 one, one, and one on the day, still plus two units with a top-tier win there. Looking to build upon that and uh, get some more wins today and build upon those units and get a free play win. What the heck? Um, so we're going to take a look here, college basketball today. Like I said, Wild Wednesday, $15, any cap of your choice, full card, everything that we have to offer today. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a larger card for me here today, so make sure you hop on board and take advantage of that. Um, we're going to take a look at Wisconsin. Wisconsin going up on the road against Rutgers here. And I think that, in my opinion, from what I've seen, um, I don't think this is the Wisconsin of old that we're um, accustomed to seeing, um, that we're used to seeing. They lost a lot last year, and I think it's a little bit of, of a down year for them. They're still getting the respect and the notoriety, I believe, just hanging off of the name. Um, but I'm not sure that they are who um, everyone thinks that they are. They did have some solid wins here this year um, against Marquette, um, uh, a tough tough losses against uh, North Carolina State, Richmond, and New Mexico, a nice win against Indiana. Um, but most of their wins here have come at home here. Um, and this one is going to be on the road. And when they're on the road, they're only averaging 52 points per game, really struggling with the three ball as well, um, down around 30%. Um, they're going to be playing a tough Rutgers team coming off back-to-back -back losses, um, both on the road against Pitt and Michigan State. Um, their best two best players didn't even reach double figures. Um, and they have a nice little bench uh, a bench there. They have a junior and a senior that come off the bench, a forward and a guard, um, that were a nice one-two combination against Michigan State. They were right in that game. That was a two-point game. They led by two at half in Michigan State. Um, this is a tough Rutgers team who rebounds the ball very, very well, over 39 re or averaging about 39 rebounds per game. Um, one of the top in the nation as far as block shots and one of the top defensive teams in the nation. Um, Wisconsin is going to play at a very slow pace. I'm expecting to see some 2-3 zone here um, from Wisconsin um, because they just I just don't think that they match up very well and they want to play that slower pace. And Rutgers doesn't shoot the three very well at all. One of the worst, I think the worst um, in the Big Ten as far as three-pointers made. Um, but Wisconsin's right at the bottom of the Big Ten as far as points per game. So this is going to be a very interesting game here. I think Rutgers wins this game in a tight battle. We're going to lay the point here with Rutgers minus the one as the official free play of the day. I think they pound the ball inside, um, make enough shots from the outside, get to the free throw line and make some shots there, um, and possibly jump the lanes here. There, there are much more... Um, <laughs> my Apple Watch is going crazy. Um... <laughs> They're a much more athletic team. I think they match up well. They have a nice 6'10 guy in the middle and two nice athletic guards out front. I think they bounce back from these two tough losses against uh, 
formidable opponents and get a nice um, win here against Wisconsin, uh, who's really struggling on the road against decent opponents. Rutgers, minus the one, is the official free play of the day, guys. Wild Wednesday, $15. Any capper of your choice, hop on board and get linked up with the Ghost Picks team. Um, let me know what your favorite play is of the day. As always, drop it down in the comments. We'll get a little give and, feed, or give and, <laughs> give and take back, a little feedback. Um, but you guys enjoy your day. Have a wonderful Wednesday. It's Derek. Da -da 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 Dimes. Ghost Picks ATS, guys. Three Gs of Ghosts is how we roll here. God bless. Good luck. And continue to grind on.